こんにちは。Welcome to Tokyo Japan! Wow, this is the view from my room. It's awesome. So, this is day one of Tokyo Japan. It's the end of 2023, and we are gonna be spending New Year's Eve here, which is interesting because I've never spent New Year's Eve in Japan before.、Uh, I'm here for a few reasons, but mainly Pokemon related. I'm actually looking for some Pokemon TCG cards. Uh, just for the fun of it, just cause you know, I just wanna come to the motherland of Pokemon, right? To find Pokemon cards. And another thing that I had on my checklist was to find this Yako 1000. This is actually, apparently, it's a very rare kind of a Yako, and I, I found it. So, another thing off the checklist. So, my plane actually landed quite early this morning, so I couldn't check in into the hotel yet. But、uh, because I couldn't check in, I actually explored the Ikebukuro area. I actually stayed here in the Ikebukuro area, and、uh, what I did was actually just walk around and try to figure out where are some of the TCG shops. I actually searched on YouTube as well as、uh, TikTok just to see if、um, I'm, I missed out any you know, major shops. And I realized that it's so fun. I actually went to the Pokemon Center, and there's this whole level of amazing things. You, you, got, you get to see like, the T-、uh, Pokemon Go lab,、uh, there's also the Pokemon TCG like, shop or something like that. There's also the Poke Sweet, Pokemon Sweets Cafe. That was really cute because we had, I bought like a Pikachu waffle with a drink, a tea latte, and、uh, I got to throw away the rubbish in this like Garbodor dustbin, which was interesting.、Uh, and then I explored the Pokemon Center. Most of the shops, all the shops I went actually, I didn't film inside the shop because it's just not very nice.、Uh, but, as, but as much as possible, I try to film the outside of the shop to see where I'm actually going. Um, yeah, so I actually been to quite a lot of different、uh, TCG shops, and I guess I will do a introduction of where I went. Okay, but before I do the voiceover, this is kind of the end of day one. It is very, it is, the sun is actually setting quite early because it's winter, and I'm going to cherry the Yako 1000. Tastes like Yako. Okay, so I mentioned earlier I'm here on a Pokemon trip. So I'm actually in particular looking for the Venusaur SAR for 151,、uh, just to complete my 151 Master Set. So that's the only card that I'm missing, as well as the AR9 Pikachu for V Star Universe. So it comes in a set of nine ARs, but so far what I've seen in shops is two particular shops. I've seen the Pikachu only, I haven't seen all the other AR9. You know, friends around it. So I don't know if I can find it. What I did get from all the shops that I went, I actually got、uh, myself a Garchomp SAR. This is from、uh, Raging Surf, as well as the Gold Zart from ROBF. These are the first two cards that I've got.、Uh, hopefully, I will not go overboard. But another thing that I got was、uh, Shiny Treasures Pack because Shiny Treasures just came up. It's the Reach now. So I managed to get. 10 packs from the Pokemon Center, and I got some free gifts as well from the staff. They were super friendly to me. I also got like 5 packs from. 5 packs, 5 packs, and 5 packs, I think, from 3 other shops. So I'm gonna take them out now and see how many we have and open them up. Okay, after searching through my bag,、uh, I actually found 10 packs from Pokemon Center. I also got this thing from Pokemon Center where you can put like a nice card. I think I'm gonna use it for my TikTok live streams. If you've not been to my TikTok live stream, you can head over to TikTok and search for Compass Poke Pools. You can find me there. I got five packs from Yellow Submarine. I can't really see it clearly. As well as five packs from Big Magic. So these are the places that sell these, sell these packs.、Uh, These are loose packs, the one from Pokemon Center is loose packs. These two, I think they are from BB's、uh, booster boxes, and I, because I did see them open booster boxes just to, you know, take out the packs and sell. So, yeah, they are pretty cheap here as compared to what you can find in Singapore, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna open them up. Okay, after five packs from the Pokemon Center, we actually have one SSR, which is Skrulladich, as well as one shiny Veloozar. Can't really see, it's a bit blur. Okay, yeah. So that's not too bad. Let's see what other, what other magic this five packs hold. Alrighty, done with the ten packs. We actually have two more baby shinies, including a Cleffa, which is super cute, as well as a Finizen. So, <clears throat> yeah, ten packs, and actually, the hits are actually sort of like what you would get within a booster box. Three shinies, as well as a SSR, no SAR or URs or things like that. 
But yeah, I'm probably gonna see what I can do. If I have enough jengs, there's a possibility that I'm able to sell them at one of these shops in Japan. So, fingers crossed, we can do that. Let's open those piles now and see what we can get. We're gonna do the yellow submarine one first. Okay, we're done with the yellow submarine five packs and guess what? We got two hits. We got a Grief... Oh gosh, can this thing focus? Grievart, Shiny. Or is it Houndstone? I think it's Grievart. And a Charizard SSR. Oh my goodness. For five packs, uh, not too bad, considering that there's a Charizard. So now we're going to do the five packs from Big Magic. So let's go. Okay, we're done with the five packs from Big Magic. These are the hits. We have a SSR Glimora, which means this is the big, biggest hit from the box. One of the biggest hit anyway. We got a baby shiny, Gargarnacle. How do I pronounce his name? I have no idea. And we also have a SR Students of Paldea. So this is the second hit of the of the box. So I actually saw this guy take out like five packs from a box literally and gave me five packs. And I actually have the SSR and the SR from the box. So <laughs> that's super good. So all in all, 20 packs from three different places, and I actually got quite a good number of hits. Uh, I'm gonna just sort them out, sort out my cards, and I'm gonna see if I can actually sell off all these cards that I don't want, uh, and see if I can just, you know, make some money back while I'm here in Japan. I also bought some cards from Singapore over, um, all the extra, like, you know, uh, holo cards and stuff like that. I'm gonna see if I can sell them off, and hopefully be able to make some money. I have done my research, and I think there are a few shops that do accept those cards, uh, all these buybacks. I have seen shops that were buying back stuff, uh, just now when I was walking around Ikebukuru. Um, but I think I'm gonna try a shop in Akibara tomorrow. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. We're gonna explore Akibara tomorrow. Today was Ikebukuru. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, bright and early. See you soon. We're still at day one, but look at this random door. Inside is actually a stall. Look at this, card of paradise. <laughs> no filming inside, but wow. It's actually quite mind blowing and actually got some singles to add on to my collection. So yes, day one is officially a wrap. It's in there, it's just the most random like place that you can ever find a shop. Alrighty, I am back in the hotel and uh, we really just entered day one. It's about like 8, 9 p.m. now and uh, it's super dark outside already because it's winter. And I just did a tally of the places that I've been to. Today I've been to Yellow Submarine, the first place. After Yellow Submarine, we went to a place called Big Magic. And then after Big Magic, we went to a place called Card Secret. After Card Secret, we went to a Japanese place, the blue sign with the word TCG. Um, I don't know how to read it, I'll just call it a hidden number one. Uh, the next place we wanted to go was Hobby Station, but Hobby Station was closed. So then we ended up at another hidden place called Hidden... I would call it Hidden Place Number 2. <laughs> yeah, that just very random Japanese... Uh, it's, it has a Japanese name, I just don't know what the English name is. And last but not least, we just came back from Card Paradise. It was just another random shop that I happened to see on Google Maps. So I just ended up there and, and I bought some singles on the way back. So yeah, that's the end of day one. We actually been to one, two, three, four, five, six, six different shops here at Ikebukuro. This gold gachom from Raging Surf is actually uh, pretty cheap here in uh, Japan. And so I decided to get it because I found that this Yellow Submarine had the cheapest. This is a uh, Nemona Shiny Treasure SAR, Shiny Snorlax. I actually found one for 1000 so this was actually not the cheapest, but hey, still something. This is Dendra from Triple Beat. I don't have her. Uh, and Vista Universe SARs, Fighting Mewtwo as well as Dre Beyond. So that's the end of day one. I am going to Akihabara tomorrow and uh, we'll see how it goes because I know that there's a lot of shops there. Uh, but the first thing I will do when I get there is to try to sell away as many cards as I have, the ones that I brought from Singapore over. So fingers crossed we're gonna get it done and uh, all the best to us tomorrow. Bye!